What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of the Final Station. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we suffer food problems. We do have food issues. Oh wow, that guy's a little bit stronger than I expected him to be. We got f oh, you can kill them both with one punch? Man, we are all that is gentlemen right now. We are taking them out. I suppose I could have ran for that chair if I really wanted it. Get out of here. I throw a chair at you. We got pistol ammo, old books, and rags. You know, I've got tons of money, but nothing to spend it on so far. It was my hope that we would figure out something to spend it all on, but I don't know. Ooh, we got all of them. And see, he caught him with the elbow on the way back, too. He was like, elbowed in the face! And he just rocketed a fist straight through the chest of that one in front of him. It was like, Bleh! I lifted it off the ground. Just blood and viscera spilling everywhere. I like to fill in with my imagination. Don't judge me. We got a spoon and some food. That's good, because we're just about out of food to feed people. Got a spoon from there. I'm never a fan of these little... Well, I suppose this isn't subterranean. This is actually not underground. It's still inside of whatever factory. What the shit is that? Good God. So did he explode? I don't understand what just happened. Did I lose health? I must have. So it looks like we've got special infected we've got to deal with too. Oh no! I got wrecked. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that right there. Maybe just unload pistol rounds on him on the way down. Oh good, the checkpoint is actually really, really close. Oh well, I can semi-auto and fan the hammer about as fast as I want to go, so that's good. Got pills and soap right there, and it looks like- Oh, we can rip the toilet off and we can pull a Boondock Saints here. Okay. Let's go ahead and knock your helmet off. And then we'll take your- Oh, you can shoot out the lights too! That's cool! There's so many interesting little interactable things in this game. Gunpowder and pistol ammo from right there. I don't see anything else though that looks useful. It's interesting how quickly the game transitions from like a lifeless manufacturing environment into like nature where there's actual color and things like that too. Sort of cool. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Watson, we wanted to inform you that the heating sensor on your property will be changed during the week. Thank you for contacting us, Billy Croc Heating Power Plant, Morgan Stern. Yeah, I don't think they made it. It's looking like there's not going to be any happy uh, family reunions out here. 20 bucks from there. Money, scraps, I don't really see anything else. Come on, give me full charge, I don't want to waste bullets. Cigarettes and pills, we can rip a toilet out right there, which I would probably recommend. I don't know, Jane, he became so distant, he spends most of his time in the basement. He's cheating on you? Michelle? You there? I think Michelle had a rough day. Well, I didn't really want to throw that, but yeah, sure, why not? So there's a false wall right there. I can't pick up anything from the wood shop on that side. Upper House Metropole, 7552. Well, it's something. Is he an art thief? Like, what's up with all these paintings? Some gunpowder from right there, and there's another hatch that goes back underneath, which will take us back up into here. Oh shit. That's all kinds of bad. Okay, so... I don't know how we're gonna deal with that one. That's a bit more than I bargained for. Okay, let's go back this way. I, I With the amount of damage we take from getting hit by those things, those things sting quite a bit, and so it's kind of... Removed my motivation to get into any real nasty conflicts with him. Oh, I have to go back that way because I can't jump and I can't climb back on the dumpster. Ooh, well, that's not good. Suppose I'll use my med kit. Oh, cool. It's got a little animation. That's fun. I uh, See, I like it when games like this is like one of those understated games where at first, like if I was judging it based off the first 35 minutes or so, I'd be like, well, you know, the game, it's simple and it doesn't have like a whole lot going on. But, uh... Oh, don't climb back down. That was a mistake. Can I shoot from here? No, I can't. I was going to say, if I could shoot that angle right there. Yeah, and they went ahead and they blocked that off. So let's wait till they reset. And once they reset, we just got to kind of hope this goes the way we need it to. I mean, that's, I think, about the best I could have hoped for right there. And then we'll clear the rest of our way out. I suppose I could try to run through them. But it just seems like a risk that I'd rather not take. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't want to do that either. See the backing up, so what happens here is you don't press down to go down the ladder. You just press the direction that the ladder's in. And so if you're trying to back up and line up a hit, it'll make you go back down the ladder. And so if you're wondering why I keep climbing down the ladder on accident, that's why. You don't have to press down or anything to go down the ladder. Yeah. So see, I want to back up just a little bit more. It just won't let me have it. We used up a lot of ammo in this place. That is subpar. Very, very unsatisfactory. There we go. So they're taken care of. Was there anything up here? Because if there is, I would love to have it. We got med kits. It looks like we got some safety gear. Just in case we want to do the safety dance, which obviously you have to have the proper equipment on. Oh shit. Like basically if I can get rid of the speedy ones, I think we'll be alright. But I don't have a lot of bullets left. I'm not gonna follow him around, I'm just gonna wait for him to cross my reticle. Ah, the bullets have a maximum range. Okay. Let me draw back in real fast. Hmm. This is sort of unfortunate. There we go. So that's one of the speedy ones down. And if I can get myself a little gap, we should be able to... I got two bullets left. Okay, so he's down. You are also down. We'll climb up here and we'll wait for them to reset. I don't know how I kill the one in armor if I don't have bullets. We'll just have to figure that out, I guess. He got me. Yeah, I don't think I can hurt him, so we're going to have to pick this up maybe and throw that at him. There we go. That got him. Took care of business. I don't know. Killing a couple with the boxes might have worked pretty well too, but all the plans seem risky. There we go. He's down. Our health is not good. A little bit more pistol ammo. We're going into the next location. Kind of not strapped. Like, not ready for wear, that's for sure. And you know, I don't have to kill you if I just get the hell out of here. And we got a key. And the door for the key, I think, was back here. No, it was not over here. Okay. So we'll go through here. And where was that key at? There was a door around here somewhere that was locked and required a key. I'm just going to run back through the zone and see if I can find it. I don't think there's respawns or anything like that to worry about. And given how our supply situation is looking at the moment. Maybe it was in the house, possibly? It wasn't. Where was the door at? Never mind. The key went to this door right here. So that was a key that just allowed us to loop back around the map. I'm going to outrun this dude if I can. We got 7552 for the code. 7552... All right, now let me off the pad. There we go, because I didn't want to kill that last guy. We don't really have that many rounds left. We don't have that many supplies left either. Like, we're actually kind of in rough shape right now. We've got four food, which I think is going to be the clinching thing that gets us through and allows us to make it, because I think everybody needs food right now. I'm not going to read their dialogue because there's a lot of it. So there you go. Yeah, Bob Nelson needs food too, although he's bleeding again. Bob Nelson just can't keep himself from bleeding. This guy over here needs some food, and then she looks like she's more or less okay. Alright, before we die, what's broken this time around? The ventilation system. I read a lot about the first visit. So did everybody else. I read reports of witnesses. Besides, my family are settlers. Um, my parents told me a lot about what happened. Keep to the point. Why two days? Because that's how it was last time. 
Oh, sure. What? Is he serious about that? And what about the months of battles? Are those just a lie? Afraid so. You know what? I don't know why you're pulling our legs. But I warn you, it's the la it was the last time. My president, Vermin White, didn't build this country from scratch. To let shitty settlers tell stories. Come on, that's enough. Alright, so we got a message over here. Gary Locke. Hold on. I'll get that one in a minute. I think he needs help. Oh shit, he's about to die. Hold on. He needs help, like, right now. There you go, buddy. All better. All right, back to Gary Locke. I'm writing an order from the military. Are you near near cost field? Almost there. Great. The local engineering team is going to come and meet you. The general asked to report. Uh, once you unhook the cargo, the town in the town as soon as possible. Okay, Gary is offline. Cool. Dropped a couple people off. Made a little bit of money. This time around, we're going to want to buy a bunch of supplies for the future. Because I think that's probably the only way we're going to make it to the next station. We've got a grip of cash sitting around. So I see no reason not to spend it. I mean, that's just not the kind of person that I am. When I'm flush, I'm flush. When I'm broke, I'm brunk. Money comes and money goes. Finally, is the cargo safe? I know, but we've got no time. I was going to say, man, you don't look so good right now. David and I are the only survivors. David went to the city. He's got the blockers code. You need to find him. I'm going to release the cargo. By the way, there's a, a storeroom with weapons upstairs in my office. Good luck. So wait, this place is overrun too? Don't go to the subway. Okay. Apparently the sandwiches there are gross. But then again, subway always makes gross sandwiches. I don't know. You're, I've a, ooh, a boomstick. Just have a right bumper to change guns. Okay, so we got a shotgun. Do they all use the same ammo? They do not. They all use different ammo. Okay, that's perfectly fine. We will grab some of that right there. Now that we got ourselves a cool piece of steel. It said not to go in the subway. It specifically said. But then again, there's like this little evil part of me. Oh, shit. Yeah, don't go to the subway. Never mind. Whoever wrote that note was absolutely correct. Let's not be a part of... Oh, no. You've got to be kidding me. So we can't get through right there. Is there anything through this window? There's a dead guy, but I can't jump, so unfortunately I can't get through this little tiny window and go around. I don't feel good about this situation. This situation seems like a mess to me. I suppose I could run for it and just, like, hope for the best. Was there any loot back here that I missed out on? All right, let's just... We ran for it, and that's all we really needed to do. So the shotgun carried us through. It does look like it does some kind of penetrating damage. Or a little bit more damage than some of the other stuff we were doing. Down here we've got a battery. Got that guy right there. Christ. Got him. Okay. So, Oh, no! That little dude snuck in well after the fact. Was not expecting that. So apparently they come out of the doors in waves sometimes. Oh, man. I was trying to see if I could punch the little dudes, but the little dudes appear to be mostly like melee immune. Uh, you might be able to hit them in the middle of their attack animation. But I don't know. All right, so one thing at a time. You're down. I'm going to sneak past you, and I'm going to catch you with a big old haymaker. I've got the battery, which unfortunately we can't throw at anybody. I was hoping maybe we could throw the battery, but no. Doesn't work like that. Looks like you probably want to get decent range on those when they go up. This thing needs a battery inside of it, so we'll throw that in there. I ain't got no bullets left, so this is kind of an interesting situation to be in. Got him. 
Okay, so it looks like you might be able to dodge through their attacks sometimes if you get really, really lucky. I got shotgun shells left, and I don't really know what we're up against in here, so hopefully it's not too bad. Got a pistol ammo refresher right there. It's T12. I raised the elevator before I left, and there's going to be off-schedule dumping from the north main track in the morning. So sick of cleaning the elevator every time. So we got one of the little dudes in there. But it doesn't look like there's a reason to go down there. I don't know. We'll come we'll we'll see what our ammo supply looks like. Yeah, there's a lot of them down in the parking garage. I don't think that's a smart idea. Let's let that one lie for right now. I don't care about its fibs. Alright, so you gotta go. And you guys gotta go. $24 from out of there, although as of yet we've seen no reason to actually use money. Uh, this is locked. So we're gonna have to go down and through there. That's problematic. I can run past- oh, I thought that was a wall. Wires and scraps from out of there, but it's actually in the foreground. We got food, wires, and money inside of that car. But that's all we got. Like, if there's any other real conflict inside of here, we are hosed. Completely and totally hosed. Let's be very, very careful. We're going to check everything for ammo. We're going to strip what we can strip. That looks like somebody went balls to the wall on that building. Ball uh, to the wall. Oh, this is a terrible plan. I should really... Oh, good! Alright. The plan is not quite so terrible anymore. Yeah. I knew that was coming. He took a bit more loving than some of the other ones. Ew! He left black slime all over the toilet. He had to drop a duker before he came out. There's a bunch of bad guys up here. Like, I might be able to do something with that right there, and then we'll just wait it out, and we'll see what they do. It doesn't look like that one over there in front of the punching bag, the heavy bag, was able to detect us. So. Oh, man, the little one's still up. I would have saved the box for the little one if I had known he was going to turn around that time. Last time he didn't even see us, so maybe it's because we came too far into the room, possibly. I don't like those little dudes. Let's say that I come out guns blazing over here. There's three into him. Knock his helmet off and shoot his head off. I don't think you're meant to fight a lot of these. $11 inside of there, but nothing else of note to be looted. Maybe you're not supposed to fight all of these. I really don't know. We've got a bunch of enemies up inside of here. Okay, so there's one of the little ones down. Register over there. I mean, technically, I could probably skip all this and just go straight up the ladders, but if there's loot and things that I want inside of here, unfortunately, I'm a tag greedy when it comes to that kind of stuff. Oh, the TVs work too? Okay. Well, if the TVs work, we'll just use those to sort out the enemies, and that'll be that. One shotgun shell left. Nothing inside that right there, unfortunately. However, that does give me, like, infinite ammo to deal with assholes up here if I really, really have to. It looks like there's nobody up here, though. Handcuffs. So he's been in there for quite a while. By my reckoning, 37 days. He stayed in that back room before he expired. That's quite a bit of time to be trapped inside of a tiny little room with no place to, like, use the bathroom or anything else. Obviously, he's in a storeroom, so I guess he had a food supply, but... Still, it's a bit rough. Can I go behind this? Oh, I go in front of it. Okay. Let's go ahead and shoot your head off and wait for this guy. Perfect. That's still locked, so we can't go around that way. Oh, man. Yeah, that's a bit of something to deal with. to me as though they might be bugged out right there too or stuck mm. 
So that means we don't really have a choice. Oh, the exploding ones kill their own. Interesting. Well, that's a good thing to know because I'm going to be able to put that to task now. I learned a new thing today. Alright. Don't want to waste bullets. <clears throat> Haymaker. Get thumped on. Oh, but that guy's in the front, so we can't really shoot him. Ah, I was trying to bait it out and see maybe if you could, like, duck in and then duck back out. Sorry, I'm playing around with mechanics right now. Trying to figure out what you can and can't do. I'm the kind of person that's always looking for, like, an exploit so that I can save stuff. And if I can, like... fight those things without getting myself murdered. Well, maybe we just don't mess with the cafe then. I mean, I'm sure there's something good in there, but it seems a little high risk at the moment for me. We have no food, by the way, so I was hoping this was the drop-off point for most of our people. What's that? Guardian, a fact or fiction. What law-abiding citizens' taxes are being spent on in truth by Irving B. Omega Publishing House? A little bit more cash to be had on that side. Likewise, if there's a window over here that I could make this work on. Oh, there's a locked door right there. Damn. I don't know how I want to do this. Ah! I need more of a gap. The explosion is quite generous. Okay, I can make this happen though. We got this. I do like how, like, don't get me wrong, I like how lethal the game is. And actually, let me redo this next part, and, well, I like how lethal the game is, don't get me wrong, so I, I enjoy the fact that, like, shit can kill you in this game, and it's not just, like, a cakewalk, you don't just, like, you know, play your way through the game without having to worry about shit. Like, the game is simple, but at the same time, it can kill you. And that's interesting to me, there we go, so now we're all cleared out. I think we're just about out of time today. I will see you all in the next episode. Ooh. Cool. Can't open that from this side either. Did I just waste ammo doing nothing? Oh man, there was nothing inside of here? Well, ain't that the story of my life? Ain't that about the story of my life? Alright, well I'll see you all in the next episode of The Final Station. Thanks for stopping on in. It's always a pleasure and a privilege to entertain all of you for the day, or at least marginally bore you. I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. Bye, everybody.